what is that? A latex jumpsuit? Isn't that like what all the celebrities are wearing at the moment? It looks so good. I, I want to look like Kim Kardashian too. I'm ordering it. Oh, who can it be? Maybe the mailman? Hello, I'm your postman. I have something for you. Oh, it's my super awesome celebrity latex outfit. Oh, what is that? It's not shiny at all. And it smells like tires. Oh, it's so sticky! Oh, I'm super disappointed! If you want to know the story about this unusual intro and why I bought this latex catsuit for only 18 euro, you should watch this video. By the way, this is going to be a really long video, so if you want to find certain topics or outfits, just use the chapters. Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. It's a really special one because I'm having a look at latex clothing sold by fast fashion stores. <laughs> I'm going to show you three pieces today, a bodysuit and a dress by House of McQui and a latex catsuit from Fashion Nova. I found all of them online at the homepages of these fast fashion stores and before I'm telling you more I'm going to switch into the first dress. This dress is called Center Electric Rose DV Butterfly Sleeves Latex Dress by House of Maguire. It's originally £149 and I bought it on sale for £49 only and it's size extra small and I have a few issues with it. <laughs> to be honest with everything I saw so far but let's start. Um, the fit is not really great. I don't love it. <laughs> it's somehow too wide here a bit and it feels like it's just cut off somewhere without thinking where and it's also a bit too wide although it's a size extra small. Um, yeah, the zipper looks really bulky and too long so there are a lot of ruffles here and it um, does not lay very smooth <laughs> on my body which is like the thing of latex to stick to the body really close but it doesn't really do that when I'm moving around. <laughs> Where the zipper ends it's not even but it's like a step between the two sides so um, not, <laughs> not how it's supposed to look. At uh, one place at the zipper there's also a lump of something. <laughs> I don't know it's really I don't know what they did there but it's not a really good workmanship. Another real issue is that I don't seem to get it like really shiny because I shined it, I washed it twice and shined it and shined it now again and it's not not really shiny, it, it, it's dull somehow. I don't know why, maybe it's the quality of the latex. I know that for people who are not that into latex or not as experienced it may seem like it's really shiny but <laughs> I do own a lot of latex pieces, I have some experience and I can definitely say it's not really shiny and it's supposed to shine more or be shiny or whatever and I don't know why I'm not, um, I'm not able to shine it up properly, I don't know. And also now the real deep dive here, I do know how to glue latex garments and I can tell you that um, the panels are glued from the outside to the inside, like the outside overlapping the inside panel and normally you do it the other way around, like the inside panel should overlap the outside panel so that you have a smooth look and not have these edges here in front of the dress but looking like at the back. <laughs> so something you don't do and another real bad thing and if you would wear this multiple times it's supposed to happen that here in the front is going to rip because you have a lot of tension here at this deep V point in the middle here and it's pulling the sides to each side so a lot of tension and no reinforcement here so probably it'll rip sometime right here in the middle downwards Especially if you're not used to getting into latex and you like pull and 
I don't know, pull too much or whatever, it's going to rip here, I can tell. <laughs> so there's a reinforcement missing, that's basically it. <laughs> On a positive note, <laughs> it came in a bag and inside this bag there was a whole page of instructions on how to clean it and how to wear it. Also concerning latex allergy because some people um, are allergic to this latex. And yeah, cleaning, a lot of warnings, <laughs> how to wear it. And so this is the real plus point, that they're telling the people what to do with it. Thumbs up for that. For the rest of the dress, I'm not really convinced. And to summarize all that, I read that it's manufactured in People's Republic of China. So if I compare that price to the quality and to the established Western latex designers, it's not a good deal, not at all. It's, the manufacturing is like really cheap and clearly they misregarded some of the basic rules here, like reinforcing and gluing the sheets on top of each other. Also the seams are really thick, which is okay. Um, some people like the look of them, I prefer them a bit thinner. And yeah, as I said, not really satisfied here. Also when I look at the bodysuit which I'm going to wear next, there's a label inside and you can't really read the label. Why even do a label then? But I think I'm going to change into the bodysuit now because I've seen enough of the dress. <laughs> Second piece is the bodysuit and I can tell that I'm going to have the same issues again. Um, with uh, the no reinforcement here and the cup whatsoever. Also I found a big um, patch of glue at the shoulder which wasn't removed. Um, doesn't leave a good impression either. <laughs> and I have to say that this one is size small and it somehow fits better than the size extra small from the dress before. Yeah, another mysterium with the sizes <laughs> in one company, they differ so much. This one was originally 80 pounds and I bought it for 29 pounds. So everything on sale. <laughs> and let's take a moment and think why is that? Probably because no one bought these things. As I said before, I found the items at fast fashion stores. So their customers are normally not used to latex. They probably didn't even know that it was latex, maybe? I don't know, I'll get into that a bit later. And they were on sale over half a year, so you still get them on sale. Like, no one buys them. Oh, I can turn around if you want to. <laughs> like I said, it kind of fits better than a dress, although it's a size bigger. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this one. And I didn't try it on so far. I don't know what will happen. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this intro of the video in which you saw my distant cousin Chantal or someone else. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I made this intro because I found this cat suit on the Fashion Nova page amongst a lot of PVC clothing and other latex clothes. And the first weird thing was that Fashion Nova calls this latex, which is true, but also calls PVC, in a lot of cases, latex, which is not true because it's PVC. So they confused their customers <laughs> by calling stuff latex that isn't and adding real latex into their product range. And then I had a look at the reviews under these real latex pieces and had a good laugh about them. And I can um, read some of them to you because it's so funny. <laughs> Ripped like a pop balloon. This item is not clothing, it's a latex balloon. <laughs> I tried to put it on the first time and it stuck to my body and wouldn't go up. I was in a hurry and left it alone hoping to try on with tight powder or something as I read they could help avoiding sticking to the body. Good on you. Should have returned it right away with tax and all. Fast forward to a couple of months later when I had a real event that I needed to wear the outfit to, if you can call it that. 
uh, it's a bit too late to wear it just right before the event okay I was extra careful not to let it stick to my body and halfway up my body the top part of the suit just popped like a balloon and continued all the way up <laughs> I never seen anything like it I just want my money back fashion Nova it is also not shiny as picture more of matte look <laughs> Sorry, but this is just hilarious. <laughs> Selling latex to people who don't know anything about latex makes this happen. This really bad one star review. Because, yeah, clearly she has not any idea about what she's doing or that it's, of course, not shiny because she has to shine it and all the stuff. Doesn't look at all like picture proper ripped off which i could return it but it's too dearly to send back to fashion it's going in the bin well sorry but if you do only think it's a rip off because it's not shined when it arrives then yeah you're too stupid to wear latex anyway <laughs> from another dress poor quality this dress smelled and looked like a big red balloon for what it costs this dress is not worth it yeah well latex and balloons which are made of basically latex yeah but still two th uh, different things okay next one <laughs> a hot mess beware this dress is latex just like rubber gloves I didn't notice you have to literally do so much to just put it on after even you have to let uh, and even after you have to add latex shine who has the time I can't even return it don't be fooled, this dress isn't at all. Isn't at all what? Sorry? And yeah, you have to shine it. And yeah, it is real latex. Although I have to put this on Fashion Nova to call just everything latex that isn't latex and latex that is latex. Anyway. <laughs> people, who, people who buy latex should be aware of the fact that you need time to put it on. Latex needs special care. So Fashion Nova should either highlight that in the article or just make an extra category on the side like real latex products. But this is just confusing the customers who of course are not going to buy it then. And they will not make any money out of it of course because no one buys it. <laughs> Huge disappointment. Nothing like the picture. Came covered in powder that you find on gloves and is pale matte dark blue. Not shiny. It's hard to fit. Sticks to your skin and even harder to get off. For such cheap material, it's not worth the price. <laughs> I got 5XL too snug. Ah, I was really cheering for this top. Please revamp this idea. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> for such cheap material, it's not worth the price. Girl, this material is way more expensive than your normal cotton fabric. <laughs> Fast fashion stores as Fashion Nova or House of Magui they degrade latex somehow, or not somehow, they really degrade latex because they sell it to people who have no idea about the material and to really dislike the material then because they have no clue about it. And so latex has even worse reputation. And this is a story about the intro because I read all the comments and review and I was like, girl, uh, no, you're not getting this right. Okay, back to the actual cat suit here. Um, maybe you noticed I got two of them. One is size small and one size extra small because I bought one for 19 euro. So I thought I'm going to buy two because it's only 19 euro so I can choose which one fits better <laughs> because it's just 19 euro. <laughs> but I decided on the extra small and it's not horrible, it fits, it's a bit too short maybe, but it has a better fit than the two items of House of Megui. And I'm absolutely positively surprised about the trims in the neck and also the legs. They reinforced the hemlines with another strip of latex, so thumbs up for that. Other than that, I'm not really sure about this bust seam here because that's not how you do it with latex. You can't really just take a cut from a normal fabric piece and use it one-to-one -one on latex. That's not how it works. 
and the latex sheet material makes a better impression than the pink and the light pink one, <laughs> so to say. So yeah, even though Fashion Nova is the cheaper fast fashion store, their latex leaves a better impression here in this video. <laughs> Okay, well that was my two cents about fast fashion selling latex pieces. <laughs> As I said, have a look at Fashion Nova or House of Megui. They still have latex items on sale. If you buy something there, leave me a comment or write me a message telling me about it. Or do you already own something like that? What do you think of the intro? <laughs> because it was something different. I can say also from filming it, it was really funny. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you had fun with this video and you enjoyed this topic and could learn something or yeah, know something more now than before. Anyway, I hope you have a pleasant day. See you in the next video. Bye!